Hi, my name is Shenwei from LGA BSD. Um, today I'll be just talking a little bit about the difference between a chip shot and a pit shot. For chipping, basically the simplest term would be chipping definition would be minimum airtime and maximum ground time. And pitching would be the opposite, would be more maximum airtime and minimum ground time. Simply put, for a chip, the ball will be flying in the air for a short distance and rolling out majority of the distance. And pitching would be the opposite. It would be flying majority of the distance and rolling out um, a little bit more. So I will kind of just demonstrate a little bit about a chip first. Um, first of all, feet would be a lot narrower to each other. Okay, we're going to hold a little bit lower. My sternum and my chest would be slightly to the left. And because for chipping, it's a short distance, the club doesn't really travel higher than my knee. My knee height so i'm actually keeping the club head a lot lower than my knees that would be a chip shot okay so for this chip shot i'm using a pitching wedge which would which would basically the ball would probably fly off maybe 30 percent of the journey and roll out the balance 70 percent okay so now for pitching which basically would be a little bit more um it'll be flying majority of the distance and rolling out a little bit less um so Feet would still be pretty narrow. I would still lean my sternum and chest slightly to the left side. Difference is because I'm further from the hole, I would probably need to make a slightly bigger swing. Hence, the golf club would travel probably a little higher than my knee height back end and through now. So for this one with a pitch shot, I'm using a 54 degree. Um, it will probably fly out maybe 70% of the total distance and roll out the balance 30%.